What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to some more of the Cat Lady. Saying some more of the Cat Lady sounds really weird. But anyways, in the last episode, we died. We stupidly cut off our arm, and then we wound up in this hospital, and now, I don't I'm know. Tired. Let me sleep I guess now. it's supposed to look like I'm alive, I but I highly doubt I actually am. Be careful who you trust yeah, no reason. kidding. They will be watching you. How do I know you're not one of them? Oh, true. I was just thinking, maybe she's a parasite. She definitely but seems like, really look like a bad person to you. the loner type I, to me. I don't know. Maybe not. Hmm, maybe. I'll see you tonight. Interesting. Remember what I said. Because <coughs> the Queen dreams of Maggots dreams. told me that when they they're like me, right? It's good to have someone there to pinch your arm and wake you up, right? So for all I know, she could be a parasite. What was that noise? And here we go. With the potential. We'll start with a little oh, talk this game about your child. It's making me crazy. I want you to be as honest as possible. It's important if we want to get to the bottom of your problem. Count to ten and tell me when you're ready, Susan. Okay. I guess I'm ready. Why is that even an option? I could just exit out of the talking menu. <laughs> this isn't all about whether you're nuts or not, like we said before. It's about finding what has caused how you're feeling now and creating a working solution. In order exactly. to achieve that, I need to get to know you better. Can we talk about your childhood first? Your parents. When you're a child, your life revolves around them. Like a globe. What was your father like? Did you have a good relationship with him? Yeah, I had a great dad. Uh, no, he wasn't a good father. I was brought up without... I don't know. I guess this is actually me. Well, I do have a great yeah. dad, so... I had a great dad. Aw. Whoa, those are some weird-ass eyes. I have very fond memories of Super googly. He was always there for me, <clears throat> no matter what I did. He never got angry or upset. Oh. I suppose I never really gave him any reasons to be. I was a good child. <laughs> not perfect. She looks weird. But then again, no one's perfect. I'm pretty perfect. Whatever Speak made for yourself. me try to kill Just myself, kidding. it definitely has nothing to do with him. Where is he now? He died six years ago. Cancer. Aww. <clears throat> Always that dang cancer. Him? Of course I miss him. How can you even ask me that? Well, he doesn't it's know me. Job yeah, I'm not kidding. Question, Susan. Let's talk about your mother now. What was she like? Would you care to tell me about her? Um, I have a wonderful mom. She's a horrible mother. I lost her when I was still a child. I can't complain. My mom was great. She brought me up well. Me and her, we were like best friends. Like soulmates, we did everything together. Hmm. She passed away seven years ago. When Dad first got diagnosed with cancer, it Aww. was too much for her. I was like how one he of my grandmas died. He kept pretending he was fine, but she just couldn't take it. Her heart gave yep, up. Yep, that actually sounds really, really familiar. My father kept fighting it. Another eight months of illness and intensive chemo finally beat him, though. Hmm. He thought he was unbeatable, but he wasn't. That's pretty much the story okay. of my I'm grandparents on my mother's side. Better Although I never met them, so... enough about your parents for now. Let's take two minutes, and we will talk about something else. That's actually interesting. That really reflects my, like, the grandparents' life, because on my mom's side... Oh, I guess I'm walking I out. need to get out of this <clears> place. <throat> I hate hospitals. Besides, I really want to go home and forget all about this. This all happened before I died, or before I died, before I was born, by the way. But on my mom's side, um, my grandpa died from prostate cancer, I believe. Yes. No. Maybe. Yes, prostate cancer. And then my grandma couldn't handle it, and she just, she got, um, dementia, and then eventually just died. Can I just lie down? Let's just, no. Okay. I don't really want to sleep here. I'm not tired anyways. Okay, let's get back up then. That was a really pointless option. <laughs> okay, what's the band? It's cl uh, clip on hospital waistbands. It's got my name, date of birth, and hospital number. It's interesting how they got all this information. 
from well maybe it's because I was awake and they did this when I was asleep there's no one here I could give it to use hmm, how could I possibly how could this help me escape from this horrible place oh I'm sure it's impossible let's smother myself with the pillow okay if there's something okay I was gonna say if there's something underneath the pillow that'll be weird can we use okay let's try it on the pillow I mean I have no idea what it'll do Okay, I didn't, I didn't think it would do anything, but I have no idea what I'll do, but you never know. Sink? Whoa, holy crap, there's so many things! The needle's 1008. It's probably broken, maybe it just needs the batteries. What's that mean? 1008. I wonder if that's significant in some weird way. Full of latex gloves, different sizes. Take gloves. Take a lot of gloves. Why not? If you have the option, might as well just take a poop load. Oh my god, that looks creepy. Millions of hands. They're quite heavy. No, they're not. Can we combine things? Like, what if we... Can we... No, okay. Well, I guess not then. I guess that answers my question. There's something that popped up at the foot of the bed here. So, oh, it's just a sink. Never mind. Mm, turn tap off. Oops, I don't think it was... Wait, what did that say? It's not running right now. Turn hot water on. Why not? I wonder if that... Can we go anywhere else? We can. Let's just turn the water... Oh, I feel like an asshole for just leaving the water on. <laughs> Let's turn that off. There's no reason for you to be on yet. Unless we can, like... For some reason... Make a... Oop, oop, I actually didn't mean to do that yet. Um, Let's try the door open. That's kind of creepy, actually. Okay, we'll go. Yeah, use. Okay, let's go. Drug chart, list of drugs in patient side room two. I guess that's me then. A lot of sedatives it appears. Stuff they gave me could knock out a horse and give it a headache for a week too. Could also cause hallucinations and paranoia. How bizarre! Why would they want to give me that at all? I'm not crazy, you know that for sure. If anyone's crazy here. It's someone who put me on all this medication for no good medical reason. Yep, definitely not crazy. Definitely. A bunch of chrysanthemums. I hate flowers. Hmm. No, I am taking them. I don't like flowers, especially whatever those are. Smell. I don't really like flowers. I don't really care what they smell like. What an asshole. They gave you these flowers and you're doing nothing. Or maybe they didn't act as well. I guess I didn't give them to me because then they'd be in my room. Well, Hello? Why, why is why can I use all those things? Full of three different three different sizes. Am I just collecting gloves now? Okay. Well, when, when the doctor comes and finds me with all these weird gloves, eleven forty. All the clocks are broken. That's not, well. That's a great sign that this place is actually pretty normal. I'm not sleeping in someone else's bed. Why not? Sounds like fun to me. There's nothing underneath the pillow. Oh crap, man. He's a crap man. Skip it a little time, did him do. Okay, a lot of drugs and some notes. According to this, her name is Ann Burton. 35 years of age. She's taking a lot of sedatives and has a long history of drug abuse. Seems that on top of it, she's taking um, methadone for heroin withdrawal symptoms. The bottom of the page is a note saying she's actually a private patient who's staying here out of her own free will. Lucky lady, I guess it won't be easy for me to leave the ward. Hmm. I bet she thinks those red room glasses make her look attractive. <laughs> uh, I know her kind all, all too well. Completely dedicated to her job, yet totally brainless and closed minded. Hello, ma'am. Let's go home now. Can I make a phone call, please? I feel much better. Can you please just charge me? Is Liz here? Can I make a phone call, please? Oh, yes, of course. But the phone's being used at the moment. Oh. Can you please come back in five minutes? Hell no! Thanks. Well, can I just give her these? Discharge letter. Read. Oh, she got discharged. Oh, I... It seems she had made herself allowed to leave whenever she wishes. Please do not touch these. They are all confidential documents. Yeah? Well, maybe you shouldn't leave them out on the desk for everyone to see. Oh, burn! For something to read, we have some magazines for patients here. Thanks, but I think I'll pass. Before, well, as I said, before I continue here, I feel like I should... 
There's weight. Wow, that looked weird. Um, that I'll pile up on the desk. Oh, I missed a line there. Oh, apparently not. Hi, you're stuck behind me forever. Please do oh, not okay. touch these. They are all Please do not documents. touch these. I was only going to tidy up. I'm sorry. Are you one of the housekeepers? <laughs> Why did you dress up as a patient? Because I was just can't stand bored? mess. That's all. And there's no need to be sarcastic. Asshole. Who's being sarcastic? You asshole. Okay. Well, I guess there's nothing to really do here. Hi. Bye. <laughs> they don't let me go through. Excuse me, where's the exit? Excuse me, where's the exit? It's just down the corridor, ma'am. Thanks. I'll be on my way then. Nope. Can I see the discharge letter first? A discharge letter? Wait a minute. What for? Is this Some one of the guys of that killed themselves? Some under observation and aren't allowed out of the The ward. guy on the right looks like the for one who safety, hung himself. It right? sounds like we're prisoners here. It's for the patient's safety, ma'am. Hmm. If you haven't been discharged by the doctors, I'm afraid I can't let you through. May I ask what your name is? Um, Susan, my name is Mary Smith. Just let me go, asshole! Why can't we... <laughs> my name is Mary Smith. Wow. Let me through, She definitely please. thought that one up. Through. I'm afraid there's nothing I can do for you, ma'am. You should talk to the doctor first and come back with a letter and some form of identification. Hmm. Oh, yeah? Yeah? Glove slap! Baby glove slap! Okay. Can we give them this? There's no one to give it to. Yeah, there's some guys right here. Oh, well, okay. Well, can we get out of the inventory, please? Thank you. Wait, can we just talk to them normally? What, is there anything? Nope. Okay. Sorry, Mom. Can't let okay. you through. Okay. We'll need to see yep. a discharge letter from your doctor okay. first. I didn't actually mean to do that again. Thank you. Bye. Right. It seems that a discharge letter is the only ticket out yeah. of here. Seems like. Okay. Doesn't look like there's anything else to do here. Wait, let's ask where Liz is. Although we could probably find her by herself. Can I make a phone call? I feel much better now. Can you please discharge me? No. Nope. Is Liz here? And who's Liz? That young nurse who was here last night. There's no Liz Black here. Hair, what? Very chatty. She said her name was Liz. Uh, I'm sorry. A lot of people come through here. I can't remember everyone's name. Oh. I thought she was going to say she didn't exist Can or something. Can you return to your bed now, please? No! It's nearly time for your medication. I can't be chasing around after every single patient. It's not kind of your pardon. job? Look, I'm very busy at the moment. Everyone's a dick I'll come here. come talk to you in a minute, all right? Everyone! Can I just slap her, please? What's going on? Okay. What? Why am I all wobbly wobbly? This must be the patients from side room too. God, doesn't she look confused? Aren't I? Am I? What? I thought I was side room too. Oh, it's my, is it myself? Another suicidal patient. Oh my good lord! Strange. She looks like someone I know. It looks like me. Hi. Are you all right? Can we talk for a minute? I can't talk. Please, just leave me alone. Oh, I mean you no harm. I'm trapped here, just like you. Trapped? I don't know. It's just so hard to think without it. But you're a stranger. And you're not one of those lovely nurses either. No, the nurses they are really lovely here. So well. I trust the nurses like I trusted my mother. I just want to talk. I need your help. Unless mm. it's mother who sent you. Was it her? Please yeah. tell me it was her. It was totally um, her. Yeah. Okay. Sure. I'm a good friend of your mother. I thought they were gonna give me I the option to lie or so not much. there. But I guess that I can't remember you very well. But you should know this. Uh -oh. If you really are a friend, you will know my mother's name. Is it the name that holds Billy me. Bob? Ah. A beautiful name. Yeah, sure I do. Now let me ask you. What is it? Oh, well... What is my mother's name? Hmm... Uh... Hmm... Mary's the only one that sounds familiar, so let's go with that. Mary? No. Oh, You're wrong. guess not. Leave me alone. Please, just leave me alone. 
Ooh, uh. Okay, this is... Yeah, because this is my room. So why do they say side room 2? I'm side room 2, am I not? Oh, hello. I turned you off! Good lord. Turn off! Thank you! We will not run up the water bill here. That silly little creek. Okay, we can't keep walking. Great. Mm, I guess we're entering. Should have examined it probably first, but... YOLO SWAG LIFE! Okay, we'll leave the insanity woman here. It's interesting how they kind of kept on her for a while. Um, examine. Looks like it hasn't been emptied for a while. Lots of discarded medication pots in here, among other gross stuff. Um, sounds delicious. Just stick your hands in one of these. There we go. Read. Please stop writing messages on the mirror while we are currently experiencing difficulties maintaining high level of cleanliness due to sudden absence of our cleaning staff. Well, I wonder how the cleaning staff is all gone. Hmm, okay. Salmon. I can't look at myself. What? The mirror is cracked. A large shard of glass laying on the other side. Ooh, take shard of glass. I think. I'm finding me a thing about a complete psycho, but it might be useful. I'll risk it. Is it? Ah. Hmm. The game like loads, has to load when you go through here. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I don't know what we could do with all this. Well, we have the sink. It's interesting how they have hot and cold water. Now, can we use this? Liquids. Yeah, it says liquid, so that. Whoops. Oh, you don't want to fill with water? Piece of glass from broken mirror. Can we use it? Can we have any use for it here? Okay, let's go up here. No, don't press that. No. Bad idea. Look at it. Look at it! It's rather filthy. I hate public toilets. So gross. Okay, flush. Open the lid. Now drown yourself! I'm sorry, okay. Open. You can open it again. The lid is already open. Use? I've been dying that for a wee ever since I woke up. Well, okay. Well, that wasn't a very long wee, considering you've been dying to take one. Now, flush, I guess. Is there any point to this? What can we do here? Well, I guess... I can't... Oh no, I think I broke the game. Oh, okay. That scared me. I couldn't move. I was like, great, I broke the game again. I guess close it. I really... Whoa! How come there's a name on this wall now? I did not... Wouldn't that show up? What's that? E I L? Can I not look in the mirror? Oh! It's from the hot water! Of course! I did that by mistake, but. That's very interesting. Can I not look at the. Or can I not look at the. Uh, mirror? Doesn't look like I can now. Let's press it. Not a good idea. They're gonna find the glass on me. They're gonna find the glass on me. I press I should, that, that was not a good idea, was it? I regret all the things, actually. Okay. Someone is coming. I should probably leave. Oh, we're distracting Have you her. The bell? Is there an emergency? No. First of all, mistake, sir. I want to see how long it take you to answer. It. I'm feeling. I pressed it by mistake. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Well, we gotta distract her somehow, right? All right. It happens, I guess. I'll see you later. Bye. Asshole. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm glad kind of turned out worse. So, does that mean her mother's name is Elizabeth? Like, you know, every um, UK person's name is? Talk if to. If you really are a friend, you will know my mother's name. The name that haunts me. Beautiful a name. Beautiful name. 
But I know it. Let me just think for a second. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Guess we could just done those no. What? You're wrong. Leave me alone. Please. Just leave me alone. Oh, hold on, you there's really a scroll. There's a scroll bar. You will know the name that okay, but I know it. We could skip. Okay, there's more. Uh, Anne Burton. Anne Burton. No, that's my name. You don't know my mother. You little liar. Leave me alone. Huh. Okay, let's try that again. If you really are the name. But I. <laughs> can we just guess? Alice. No. Leave okay, well, clearly not. Um, she was just whack her. She was just you choke really her out with this glove. But I know. Um, I'm trying Joan. Joan. No, leave. Okay, let's we'll, we'll just see what happens when we go through really all the options. The but I know. You already tried Mandy. Mm. No, leave. Okay. If you really. The but I Thank God this girl forgets like within two seconds. No, no. <laughs> just no. If you really are the night. But I know. Alice, don't Alice. try that. No, leave me alone. If you really are the night, but I know. I don't know. Leave me alone. Okay, she just says exactly what if you, you really imagined. Really the name, but I know. Do I have to look at her? Did she say something? When I said, "What was it, Alice or Sarah?" Sarah. No. She just says no when I say Sarah, which is weird. Oh my god, I'm just right up in her face. Does this give it away? Not this one. Be maybe it's the one beside. Why am I even interested in this girl to begin with? Did I miss something? Oh, she's Ann Burton. Okay. Uh, lucky lady. Yes. Let's go in here. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. What happens if I examine this door? Hmm. Oops. I wonder. Can we. Can we use a glass shard and maybe like. Okay, no. Oh, that was a really evil thought, but I'm kind of stumped at what the heck to do at this point. Maybe we have to, like. You know, um, get her in trouble somehow? That's really the only thing I can think to do at this point. I'm going to end off the episode, though. Thanks a lot for watching. The next episode, I'll figure out what the heck to do. If you guys enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like, subscribe if you're already. My name's Chris. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace.